Yeah, why not? Put another factory into tank production. I mean, what's Liberia up to these days? They're just nothing, uh, just doing its own thing. The center cannot hold! Increased reluctance on the Kaiser's government has only served to make things worse within Germany. As the ranks united front continue to swell by the day, they are starting to get more confront confrontational as well. Strikes and protests are common occurrence in the Rhineland, where workers and hastily formed unions have ground any production to a halt. Former soldiers and farmers in Bavaria vandalize government property and homes of the nobility to vent their anger towards the government's neglect, uh, negligence. In Berlin, daily protests turn are turning into riots as police struggle to contain the citizenry. Troubles don't end there, however. Reports of new paramilitaries throughout the country imply that the Reds are preparing for something bigger. Rumors are starting to circulate around the high command about potential disloyal elements with sympathies towards the socialists should they decide to take action against the Kaiser. A revolution in Germany, once an idea few thought was fathomable, has now become a serious concern. Uh, the Sanant Tag, uh, any town of Amel. Yeah, 10 political power, sure, why not? I'll take it. 10 political power seems alright. That's nothing to worry about. It's just a collapse of social order. Okay, we got the military industrial complex. Well, I can follow you up with... Yeah, you know what? I, th I think now might be a time for some imperial restructuring. Uh, let's go with just... Actually, you know what? Let's put more into... Um, rifles for now. I think that seems completely okay. It's, not, it's nothing to worry about. We're, we're good. We're good. Germany has never looked better. Open Rebellion! It happened. The unthinkable has happened. We are now facing open rebellion stirred up by all sorts of leftists and left aligned nationalists from the Rhine. Several national Marxists, national Bolsheviks from the north, socialists and Bolsheviks from all the western German lands, unemployed Germanys that sought help from the FAUD and other syndicalist unions. Now these unlikely allies have formed a united front and center command, already having swayed half our working class uh, in similar to their cause. We face a big, the biggest war of German souls since the Napoleonic Age. If it wasn't enough, the vile commune of France had seized the opportunity to seize Alsace-Lorraine. The revolution has arrived. Uh, so let's see. We what is this? Who who order these units? One army on this front because we're only fighting against the Kaiser. I'm assuming. Rushby, exactly. And we'll get these guys into just another army. Uh, you can be led by William Pleck. You can be the southern front. And then who will be in the northern front? Uh... Okay, so you're part of FAUD. You are part of the National Bolsheviks. Or... Yeah, she has Judges of Goebbels. Uh, let's just go with you. And then the Field Marshal. Let's go... I mean, do we, here's the thing. Do we want to go FAUD or do we want to go with Tholomon? You know what? I'll put a slight... I'll put a poll in chat uh, for now. So, uh... Which route? Tholomon or Anarchist FAUD? It'll just be a one-minute vote. Just do that. Um, who's Who's better here? Ah, we'll put we'll put Carl in here. I'm not too sure what leaders you choose will matter here, but I get a position. Oh, there's just a bunch of German troops in my country. Okay, give me the Army Navy experience. What do we have here? So we got the Revolutionary Command. I'm assuming we can't do this until we've actually won the war. Okay, but I, I don't think there's, like, any actual German troops in Germany. I think the entire German army is actually in France right now. So, yeah, let's just rush all these victory points. You go here, you go there. You're going to go to Leipzig and then to Dresden. You make your way up towards Kiel, Lübeck, Rostock. And honestly, you guys just invade. Actually, I guess anyone who's here. Immediately Swiss position. You're actually going to go defend this lands. Hello, Q Fabus. Welcome. It looks like the Anarchist FAUD has won the vote with 
Uh, let's just get 10 on rifles for now, and then the rest we're just going to put into close air support. Ah, no, we have one more. Uh, let's put one then into basic artillery. We'll put five in the convoys. The rest, uh, apparently we actually have not researched any of these things. And then build some submarines with the rest. We have a decent amount of factories. Who's, who built a fuel refinery? Come on now. Get the fuel refinery out of here. That's garbage. And aside from that, uh, don't worry about the super events. I mean, these German troops shouldn't really have any supplies, I believe. And they're also at war with actually the entirety of uh, Middle Europa. Or, Middle Af or not the Middle Europa. The Reich's Pact. So that's good. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem in the future. Okay, so you know what? You guys here... Move your way onto this position. You guys march in as aggressively as you possibly can. I think there's probably more German troops on this side of the border than that side. That at least would be my guess. Oh, we actually have aircraft? Oh, fantastic. I honestly didn't think we'd get aircraft to begin with. Belgium's declared their independence. You know what? Fair enough. I would declare my independence in this situation as well. Uh, military factories. Honestly, just go for more rifles for right now. And air wings. Everybody's going to fly over here. Do as much damage as possible. Again, like, these guys really shouldn't... You're on this line, you're actually here. Because we don't need to be on the border with France. That's not going to actually accomplish anything. We have some units up there. But again, like, most of this territory in the north is basically abandoned. Okay. Our shell is leading this army. I mean, how close are we to capitulation? A little bit, but, you know, not. it's not so, so bad. Draw your line as far down south as you can. You're going to go to Leipzig. You're just going to actually go to Berlin. Are you on very aggressive? You're not. You should be. And this line here, again, doesn't make any sense. You don't need to be on the border with France. Because I don't think France is going to be uh, an enemy nation right now. You guys hold position. See if we can kill these German troops. I mean, we got a couple of guys there, but I don't think they're really going to be a major threat. Move your way to Berlin. Apparently, they actually had a unit in Berlin. Smarter than I would have expected. The Germany's almost dead. I guess if I, if I knew that, um... Okay, Belgium's also just annexed Luxembourg. If I knew that... Uh, German units were just going to spawn as enemy forces. I would have just cheated and thrown them all into, like, Madagascar or something. But, you know, here we are. Okay, you know what? Abandon the southern part of Germany like this. Back in you. Thank you, Virion, for the subscription. I do appreciate it. You want more units here as well. I mean, Munich's a pretty important city. We've got Germany down to 69%. You know, actually, get us around on these couple of units. They're about to capture a port. There's really nothing I think we can actually do about that. The cool flag? Thank you, thank you. I worked very hard on it. Taking back Dresden... And wipe out these German troops. You can now probably go... You know what? Actually, convoy raid in this area. If they, if they try to send units across, we can hopefully try to kill them as much as humanly possible. Okay, we're going to draw your offensive line. Fall back to, like, here. You just kind of march, try to take over as much territory here as you possibly can. I know the, the AI is leaving, but shouldn't be a major threat. How about you just drive your way all the way to Danzig? 
your way to these cities. Again, there's not... There shouldn't be too many German units around here, I'm hoping. And yeah, you're not actually in a faction anymore. We, we are technically still at war... ...with a handful of your puppet states, but that's basically about it. I enjoy these streams. That's good. If you if you were showing up to the streams and you hated them, I I would, you know, question your... ...your time management skills. Okay, but the most of these guys don't have any supplies, so that's excellent for us. These guys should still get... They should be getting decent supplies from Munich. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So let's try to kill these units as much as we possibly can. Any plans for you to spread your revolution over across the world? Well, we're going to just do... Let's see, let's see. Because we're probably... Again, we're going to probably go FAUD victory. Correction under democracy. Militias. Anti-discrimination laws. Drop out of all current wars. Play an intelligence agency. Yeah, we can also then eventually, once the FAUD has been rebuilt, when they're, I'm assuming it's getting done once you finish this focus. An anarchist utopia. There's also apparently a corporate dictatorship. I'm guessing that's if you get like a counter revolution. World Revolution, that requires the SMEPD to have won. And then you're, if you, I guess, go with the, um... With Goebbels. Yeah, they, they've escaped their prison. They, they've escaped their encirclement. So you know what? Let's draw your line out like this. Hold off on the attack. Half of you will go here now. But something basic like that, I think, works out fine. Berlin will collapse soon. We have no fuel for the ships, but don't worry about that. I'm sure it's not going to be a major issue uh, for long. But the revolution, I would say, is going pretty okay. It's a decent-looking revolution. I so we've gotten you out of here. Fight against you. Berlin hasn't fallen quite yet. Now it has. You're just going to watch march away towards Munich. Please and thank you. Okay, free military factories. Let's go with some tanks. Yeah, let's just put five into light tanks for now. Okay, Munich has fallen. Gets Germany down to 37%. We only need to get down to uh, 27, which is a little bit of a weird number, but that's okay. And then you're going to drive here. I wonder if, like, the, the Fallout Reichsback event probably is not going to fire because it doesn't really make any sense for it to fire, given the situation. Never mind, Collapse the Reichsback has fired anyways. And Germany is dead. And we got a bunch of their guns. You absolutely love to see it. Thank you, Germany. I'm going to take all your country now. The German revolutionary government has been established. Are we still technically at war? Against Malta and Crete, yes. Oh, no, there we go. Fall of Germany. Malta and Crete are now doing their own thing. So let's draw you up on the border with Austria, because I feel like Austria is probably going to be our biggest threat. You can be on the border with, like, the Dutch, I guess, for now. I think that seems okay. And then the rest of you guys, uh, you don't need to be in the ocean anymore. That's that's fine. But victory has been achieved for the revolutionary government. Follow you up with... Apparently we're not ready for our first Congress. I'm not too sure when that's going to happen. Victory has been proclaimed. The revolutionary central command has proclaimed total victory over the imperial forces and called for a quick restoration of order in Germany. I've already signed a treaty with France to give all claims in alsace Lorraine in exchange for a membership in the Internationale. Meanwhile, rivals and ideological incompatibilities are boiling up once again, and also new forged alliances have emerged inside the revolution. The ideological leaders of the revolution have already started to organize their own political parties for the upcoming First German Congress. Also, thank you for the follow. So we're now just in the Third International. I have a feeling that, like, 
Germany being an international just completely breaks the, the game balance, but we'll see. Uh, you know, let's go for industry level two. Our units are ready. Let's get our... We have actually... We have no commanders. Okay. We have a bunch of commanders that don't have faces. We spent some political power on this, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then I guess we'll promote you to be field, uh, field marshal. These random people that nobody have ever heard of. Uh, let's go five on you. Uh, and let's also start making, let's say, five on fighters as well. We do need some rubber. Uh, we'll trade that with... Uh... Do I not have any factories? No. 85%. Totally ruined economy. Okay, fair enough. We'll draw an offensive line into Austria. Three dockyards. I guess we'll put more in the convoys for now. That seems, you know, reasonable. And we have basically, as, as the game said, a totally ruined economy. Yeah, so right now we're a syndicalist. Yeah, so you're the, you're the FO, FAUD. Yes, we do have a little bit of support, but that's basically it. Charles Curtis has been elected president of the United States. Congratulations, Charles Curtis. I don't think that's a way for you to avoid the Civil War, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see how many... Uh... Eva joining Union of Kalkans. Let's delete all these extra armies that we're not actually using. Infantry Division. It's okay. Uh, let's just throw an extra infantry in there. Follow that up with some support artillery. And I'm assuming we have um, support equipment as well. Yes, we do. That seems good. Save that. And we'll start training... Um, let's say 12. Half half of an army's worth. How did France get the commune of... Uh, they got Alsace Lorraine back because when we became socialist, we basically gave up Alsace Lorraine in exchange for a membership of the Internationale. Okay, the Baltic Duchy has collapsed. And that's, that's fine. That's completely A-OK. -okay. The SPD holds strong. Karl Liebig, who already wants the leader's first socialist uprising in 1918, has called for the SPD to once again follow his guidance for his way into a better German future. Uh, do we need too many of these? I mean, our stability is okay. And you know what? Let's improve worker conditions, just because we're not really going to be using, um, our factories too, too much, I would imagine. Uh, at least not right now. Guys, nothing else I think too, too crazy has happened, other than the fact that, uh, of course, Southern Italy is no longer socialist. But, I mean, I, if I was France, I would definitely give up Southern Italy for Germany any day of the week. Oh, and Norway. Hello, Norway. Welcome, welcome. Coalition of the like-minded. Is that... Okay, okay, so Sweden is not going to go syndicalist. As unfortunate as that is. You have a research slot available. Let's go for... We're already researching you. I guess we go for the... Yeah, 40, 37 uh, industry techs. Seems decent enough to me. The Republicans have won in Brazil as well. What's this? Champions of the masses. The FAUD, the biggest worker union in Germany, is often and often marginalized by the imperial government for being an undisputed champion of the working class, has called for reorganization as a political party, which has caused several internal problems, such as because of the political rivalries of high-ranking members. Still one of the biggest, though. What about Dunkirk? Dunkirk right now is just owned by Belgium. You know, because why not? Bel Belgium deserves a Dunkirk. Horrors capitulated. I'm guessing these guys are at war, I think, with themselves in the south. Yes, yeah, so we got the Turkestan Republic. We got the Alash Republic. Eventually, Russia, of course, is going to come in here and murder everyone. But, you know, that that's that's a, that's a future problem. Also, you're no longer... Wait, you're no longer Siberia? Mikhail Dietrich has, has taken over? I mean, it seems fine by me. It's really not going to affect us, I think, one way or the other. What are we missing? Tactical bombers. Okay, yeah, we can, we can build some tactical bombers. Throw them just in the list. 
You have a million manpower. I'm assuming you guys might be missing some artillery pieces. No, you're actually not. Are you building artillery? We are. Just very, very slowly. The Cynicless Marx Marximus. Leaders of the authoritarian Cynicless, Earl of Solomon, and the Bolsheviks, William Plack, have agreed on their... That their ideological beliefs have enough in common to found a united front against the liberals and the nationalists inside the revolution. It called for their followers to enlist in the newly founded syndicalist Marxist party, the SMEPD. And the FOP requests manpower. Yes, yeah, send them your manpower and guns. Send the FOP some equipment. We'll try to help out the worldwide revolution as much as we possibly can. It's like Middle Africa now. They're actually social democratic. A social democratic Middle Africa. Is doing her own thing. There hasn't been any content for Canada or the French Republic. Wasn't well, there an update? Okay, why was any in Ukraine's gone to war? I thought there was an update for them a couple months ago, but maybe I'm wrong. The black sheep. Inside most inside the revolution consider nationalism beyond patriotism to be a sickness. Only most, though. Not all of them. No. There's one man who managed to unify most of the nationalist groups during the Civil War already behind his banner. That man is Joseph Goebbels. A man from the Rhine, a man early in a sympathizer of Marxism, and now has developed his own ideology called National Marxism, which is very far from what most would call Marxism. Instead of calling for a partially nationalized social corporate economy to end class struggle by class cooperation, but he's also a man that only can be compared uh, to people like Valos, Diet, and Picard in France due to his fur furious nationalism. A man with hatred for a lot of things, but a love for Germany unchallenged. He announced today that he will take part in the Congress in his new party, the NMDVP. Just give his delegation the worst seats, okay? So, White Ruthenia and, and uh, Ukraine are at war. I would imagine that Ukraine would win. But we shall see. 